even for ten minutes. McIntyre, what on earth's the matter with you? What? <coughs> hey, you there. What in God's name do you think you're playing at? Come over here at once. Come on. Closer. Well, oh, McIntyre, you can breathe again, you see. It's not the cathedral ghost, it's a, it's a tourist. A tour coach leave you behind, did it, eh? No, sir. I've come to stay. You accepted me last spring. I did. Last spring. Oh, Top of page 15. What did you say your name was? Fabry, sir. David Fabry from Toronto. Well, you're a bit late, aren't you, Fabry? In this country, Michaelmas term starts in September. I thought my mum explained. She did come to see you, didn't she? Your mother? Of course I've got it now. Here, Anna, Griffith's boy, that's who you are. Oh, do forgive me, my dear boy. It's this, it's this beastly damp. The brain gets soggy. Watkins? Yes, Mr. Priestley? Take this young man over to Matron, will you? Yes, sir. She's probably given his bed away by now, but perhaps she can find him some dry straw in front of the kitchen fire. Well, it'll be warmer than this draft-ridden pile at any rate. Come and see me first thing in the morning. I'll audition you then. Yes, sir. But you already auditioned me last spring. Time flies, Fabry. And so, alas, do voices. First thing tomorrow. Fancy you being Anna Griffiths' son. My dad says she's the best English soprano since Isabel Bailey. She's not English. She's Welsh. That's nice. Dad looks quite decent too. Yeah, he's in Canada. Lawyer. Defence criminals. Gosh, aren't you lucky? My dad's only a clergyman. So, what did he mean about a ghost? Oh, we've had a ghost here for hundreds and hundreds of years. Not like some of the newer cathedrals. Might see him yourself if you're lucky. He likes to inspect the new boys.
<laughs> Just a joke, Harry. We do it to all the new boys. <laughs> Don't have jokes where you come from, then. Right, Fabry. You ready? You may join the senior boys. Go and stand beside Watkins, will you? Well, gentlemen, as you may have noticed, our friend Fabry here would seem to have had some fairly respectable musical training, eh? Now, turning to other matters, there are two funerals this week. Yes! And, and a wedding on Saturday at St. Mary Mass. Uh, and at Christmas we shall have the Archbishop in attendance. So noses to the grindstone, please. There'll be several choice morsels for those who work. What did he mean by choice morsels? Solos. Great on that sort of thing. Especially the one on Christmas Eve. It's a real crowd pleaser. Get them right here. And to think of my little Johnny singing a solo. Merryweather will get it again, I expect. Merryweather always gets the Christmas solos, don't you? That's right. I do. Master John McIntyre, Edmund Dent, Mr. Charles Wilkins, Michael Warner, James Norman, John Masterson. Sorry, David. Next time, maybe. I know he's their operator. He lives in that office. for ages <clears throat> from outside of course you couldn't hear me walls are too thick they knew how to build walls in the 11th century now if I screamed in here you couldn't help but hear me could you because in here the tiniest whisper can't be ignored even 70 feet away look I'll show you here, take this. Now, hang on a minute. I won't be a jiffy. Father? Father? I and my mother, like yours, sang clear and bright as a stream. <laughs> Seek me out, boy. Seek me out. Knock it off, Watkins. Get him away. Who? That was me, silly. Nifty bit of sound engineering this. Puts the wind up a person good and proper. Put the wind up you anyway by the look of you. Come on, Fabry. We'll be late back. It's nearly time for supper anyway. Hope it's not Brussels sprouts again. Didn't you recognize my voice? Vain vanity. Seek me out. Come home with me. You can meet my older sister. For a price. No thanks. 
I got things to do. Hey, when I open up, you must be bonkers. What well, could be? You came, and pleased I am you came. You, Pritchard, at your service, the oldest choir boy on earth. That's me. I'm David. David, a fine Welsh name. Go on, boy. Shake hands. My hands. Turned to ice. What do you expect, boy? <laughs> <laughs> How did you know about my father? I know you were sad to leave him. Shed tears as big as gulls' eggs, did you not? It's no shame, boy, to love your dadda. Why, I did blaze with love for mine. Anything I did, I did for him. We are as one in that, I'm thinking, David. There you are, see? And your mother Welsh. The blood's the same, David. I was not wrong when I chose you. Chose me for what? I must away now. No. Wait a minute. Don't go yet. Hugh! Will there be anything more, Mrs. Griffiths? No, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, don't make it harder than it is already, David, please. I know you didn't want to come here, but somebody has to keep an eye on you, don't they? Your father's far too busy to do it properly over there, and I can't do it if you're thousands of miles away now, can I? Look at all the mums working today. Millions and millions of them. You think they're all motivated by pig-headedness and selfishness? Or some international conspiracy to frustrate husbands? <laughs> Mom! I love to sing every bit as much as you do. But that doesn't mean that I don't love your father. Oh, my boy. Look, why don't we just eat up? Hmm? Now, are we sharing these scones? Hmm? Are you going to force me to eat them all by myself? But he is coming for Christmas, though, isn't he? Won't I be enough? They get things so muddled. My mother now. She never shamed to show her heart. A little, gentle woman, small as small. I was nine when she died. Ooh, 
There was sorrow, David. Four years of sorrow. Fair killed my father, her dying. I held him fast, though. I helped in the fields with the sheep. I, and with the hens, too. While my dada, he kept the tavern. And slowly, he grew better. Calmer. Until... Fine voice, that landlord. Oh, I... Every song in his mouth is my son here. <laughs> we pay goodly sums for singing boys at Southminster. Southminster? That's a fine cathedral. England, mine. What takes you so far from home? Fine cathedrals need fine choirs. Never more so than at Christmas. You happy enough where he is? What does he need with great cathedrals? Our chapel's good enough for him. And our choir. To Christmas, landlord. And to choirs. And to young boys who can sing. As well as your son. A comely mare, sir. Follow me hence to Southminster, boy. And you shall ride her. To England, sir? Nay, I could not leave my father. A golden piece for a golden voice. Pick it up, lad. Just think what gold might do for that father of yours. <laughs> Get on, Midnight. William Staunton, master of the choristers. Here, at this very cathedral. The revolting muck we have just received. May the Lord make us truly thankful. And from Brussels sprouts, dear Lord, deliver us. Your parents coming down for the Christmas service, Fabry? It's always packed. I don't know. I'm counting on your mum being there. Thought I'd beg a few autographs, sell them to the other chaps. Won't your father come? Support the choir and all that. Not unless he's got business in London. <laughs> or I get the solo. You get the solo? Or if pigs frap their little wings and fly, is that it? Oink, oink. Oink, oink. Oink, oink. Pick yourself, Merriweather, big, fat, stuck above big. You need your snout rubbed in big... Swill. What's the matter with him? Must be the Brussels sprouts. Collect call, Mr. Fabry. It's your son. Will you take it? Are you kidding? I won't take a second. David, how's it going? You okay? Listen, Dad, are you coming over for Christmas? Or oh, isn't your mom going to be there? Well, the parents come at Christmas, Dad. It's really neat, especially Christmas Eve. They light all the candles and someone gets to sing a solo. And then the whole choir, while they... Oh, we haven't discussed strategy on the Trimark case yet. Uh, solo, hey? Well, congratulations. I'm doing court. I've got to go, Walter. Look, I can't talk... David, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. But listen, son, I'm proud of you. Really, really proud. The 24th, isn't that what you said? You don't have... You mean you're coming over? I'm sure gonna try. Now, I gotta run. Uh, hey, wait. You know something? I miss you. Hockey games just aren't the same on my own. I miss you too. But wait, Dad. Oh. 
puffed up with pride to be your dada. Your mother, too. I can't believe it. Both of them here together. I've just got to get that till you have Forget it. I'll never beat Merriweather. Not in a million years, Priest. He's never going to choose me over him. And why not, boy? I chose you. Well, as a friend, I mean. That's different. We're talking about the big plum here. Pluck it, then. For goodness sake. And for mine. Aye. And for my father's. Your father? I, too, was chosen once. At Christmas. To sing the solo? Aye. At our little chapel. Had you but seen my dada's face. Tis mad proud I am of you, boy! Proud as proud! Ah! And not a moment too soon, but looks you. So last Christmas you'll sing as a boy, likely. Out in a blaze of glory it'll be. Aye, dada. <laughs> Thank you. I'll look for you now. Will you feed my hands for me? Aye. Ah. <laughs> there now, Mary. There's a sun to smile over. It's your voice, he has. Don't stop. What happened then? Why, then, I broke my dada's heart. By God. By God. Solos, for a minute anyway. I'll tell you about baseball instead. Forget all else but this that you must sing, and sing as though a soul depended on your singing. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. So hard to do tell. Quickly, the suspense is killing. Dad's coming over for the Christmas service. Oh, he is? Well, that's wonderful, darling. Now, where did I put my... No, 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 I thought I, I put it in. Oh. You're not going to say you can't come. Well, I'll try, of course. Only I'm horribly busy, darling. I mean, this concert, it's, it's the first really big one since 
Well, since I started singing again, and I've just got so much work to do, you know? You know, just to catch up. Please, Mom. I want you both there. Of course you do. We'll see. If you don't come, you'll miss my solo. You have a solo? Already? Oh, David. Well... Not exactly. I don't exactly have it. Mm -hmm. Not yet. But I'm working as hard as I can. Even if I didn't get it, Mum. Couldn't you come anyway? Well, to tell the truth, darling, I'm not sure I'm ready to face your father yet. We said some fairly unpleasant things to each other when I... when I moved back here. Say you'll come, please. I can't promise, darling. Honestly, I can't. Watkins, I thought I asked you to lock up. I thought I did. You can't have. Listen. I can't hear a thing. Perhaps it's the ghost. Twaddle. It's that wretched Fabry trying to get a rise out of me. I'll give him what for. Control family, breath control. Merryweather, sing it for him, will you? There's a good chap. Put us all out of our misery. I remind you that this is a choir, not some vulgar display of vocal sword rattling. Back to the top of page 23, and for heaven's sake, put some expression into it this time. I want your song, boy. Have you forgotten your Christmas song? Your God, your chapel to me. Proud and glad I was to think of my son singing the Christmas song alone. My son! Down there. Down there. Let her rest. Let her be. She's dead, Dada. But I am young and full of song. Just think of all the songs that'd be for me at Southminster. No, no, no. The size of you. You'll be a man soon, child. But let me be a man, Dada. Go then. Leave me. I must stand in your way. Go to your great cathedral! 
Go! I never said I'd go. Never. Tempted I was, tis true. And tempted still when you shout and shame me. Till I can't wait to flee you. I wouldn't miss you. The only thing I'd miss would be my head. this barbaric behavior. I did, I did sir. Oh, nonsense, Mary, whether you never stooped to anything remotely like this before. Now look at you. You're bleeding. Not really, sir. I am appalled, Fabry. Appalled and outraged at such hooliganism. <laughs> Boys have been expelled for far less than this. Mary, whether come with me. You may attend classes for the next few days, but you are suspended from all choir duties. Come along. Here we go. It is for poor Merriweather here, eh? Merriweather? His voice, dear boy, is gone. Not a squeak to be heard. Well, now, he's managed to explain to me about that little skirmish of yours on the rugger field the other day, so we'll forget about that. The solo witless child, its burden now falls on your unformed shoulders. Burden? I can't believe it. And my dad's going to be here, and maybe my mum. Oh, please, please, my mum. Hugh, this means so much to me. Not near so much as it means to me. You've been a good friend, Hugh. Aye. Now tis your turn, boy. My turn? Know you not what gift I ask of you? No. Did I not tell you that I was chosen once to sing for God at Christmas? That song was never sung. My time and patience run short, boy. I I'm late for practice. After we can talk. Away we talk. Deeds now. Oh, this! Tis my dagger's horse you have there. <laughs> You'll not find her this night. Stay! He needs some. Why? As for you, my young spark, you come with me. Now, mount! Nay, I cannot! Mount! Don't ask me. Please. All I ask is your song. Will you give me your song? No, no. is it looks as though work is going to keep me here after all David I'm sorry I'll be thinking about you though especially on Christmas Eve give it your best shot for me 
Love, Dad. A living death. Each year, I live to die again at Christmas. Friends, I thought we were. All I asked was your song. It's too much. It's my solo. Yours? It was I snared Merriweather, stopped up his voice. Not to you, boy. I worked for it. I won it fair and square for my mum and dad. I thought... That what? That they'd have sense, is it? And stop their fighting? Tis dreaming you are, boy. Dreaming. To think a song could change them. Maybe I was. Maybe they won't even bother to show up. But I'm going to sing it anyway, Hugh. It's the only thing I've got. Weigh your hopes against mine, Dabby. What means this song to you? To me, tis peace. Eternal, grateful peace. You used me, didn't you? To get what you wanted? I give you the solo and that's it. Bye-bye, David. No more you. You'd be gone, some friend. I... I'd be gone. And I'd be alone. And what are you now? Hugh? You're asking too much. I. Adieu. 
I'm not to be back. Asking again. My son. Son. What son? Son. Oh, what do you do? Never mind. Retirement does have its perks, you know. The best man won. Good luck out there. Give me half a chance. I keep you all here forever. <laughs> Please. 